pretending. Well, it's just, um, what's the idea behind it, Mijer? It's a good question. I think you are the only one who knows the answer, but I don't know if you want to share it with the people yet. Oh. Or do you want to keep up the mysticism like we sometimes do? Yes, it's a pretty enigmatic song. I've heard millions of different, no, well, not millions, but a couple of different interpretations <laughs> of the song, so I don't want to give the right answer what it's about. It's about boys and girls and life in general. There was a bit of time while touring to write some songs, you know. All the off days and, and we spent some time over in Finland as well, so it wasn't a problem. Just to, you know, listen through old Bon Jovi records and played them backwards and stole all the riffs. That's how it happened, you know, it's pretty fast. We've got plenty of funny stuff. We have a huge box which, which we always send with us for the gigs, you know, and, uh, and uh, having, you know, what do you have on stage? Oh, well, well, I have, uh, you know, like animal skins. But which is, I think, is kind of horrible, but, you know, <coughs> well, and all kinds of stuff, you know, you pick up things from where you go and then you just put them on a stage and then someone steals them and then you get new stuff and yeah. that's the way it goes, it changes. We've got some Elvis, Elvis material, merchandise yeah. now, really, like, uh, low quality yeah. Elvis stuff. You, know. you went to, into, into a sex store just, like, 30 minutes ago and there was, like, a, it was really weird because there was all, all, all the dildos and all the porno stuff, but then there was, like, really cheap uh, Elvis carpets and Elvis towels and stuff like that, so I had to buy them for my stage, pro as my stage props, you know. Basically, if this is Bravo, you can buy all the Bravo issues and there's plenty of stuff I don't do anymore. I've been gaining some fat and I'm not losing my shirts anymore. That's the fact that. <laughs> You're not fat at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you? Have you have you gained fat? A bit. No show. No, 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 no show to people. No. no. Maybe I should I'm show. <laughs> no. Something no. else. Yes, your peckers. Yeah. Okay. No, well, no, the tattoos are the same as they've been, and nobody in the band has piercings. So, that's so simple. I've had tattoos a couple of years now, and I regret them. And I um, and uh, kids, kids shouldn't have any tattoos, take any tattoos. That's bad for you. You get skin cancer, and they look bad in a couple of years. It's not cool. You it's terrible. Hmm? Really, you don't have a new tattoo or something like this? No. Yeah. Nothing. No, 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 no. Well, I'm, I used to be addicted to it, but I'm not anymore. It's not. Tattoos are not that nice. They're boring. After you've had a couple, it's it's like. They like diseases you want to get rid of. In the funny box, we uh, we've got all those props which we put on stage. It's um, boy, mm, well, I can't remember what's there at the moment. I've got one one Elvis picture, kind of like a standing figure, which is always on there. A couple of Bibles, a couple of religious pictures, a couple of animal skins, a couple of carpets, a couple of toys, uh, a couple of lights, you know, like little lights. Like Christmas lights, well, with you know, <coughs> other kind of uh, images. Yes. It's, uh, the small stupid things which make makes the stage when wherever you are a bit more comfortable, a bit more living room like. <laughs>